my father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hey everyone, it's me, Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day and welcome back to my Hen series tutorials. So, we are on episode 10 as of now, and in today's episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to play PlayStation Portable games on Hen with PSP Remaster Launcher. One thing I do want to note straight from the get go if you're using a custom firmware PlayStation 3, so if you're on something like Rebug or Ferox, you can still use this process on those type of PS3s as well. But since this whole you know episodic series is just doing dealing with hen playstation 3s that's why i'm just going to be focusing on the hen side of things but if you having a custom firmware playstation 3 and still want to follow along um you can for this tutorial as well one thing i do want to stay out the way as well if you did enjoy this video i highly do recommend to go ahead and check out my official hen and hot tutorial playlist i have everything in chronological order so from all the way from episode 1 to episode 10 i teach you on you know things such as how to back up your games how to actually install hen on the latest firmware um as well i teach you guys on how to you know use emulation so how to install virtual arc how to back up games how to install multi-man on your system and also as what man how to mod gta and all of that fun stuff will be in the hen and han tutorial playlist as showcased on the screen i will have a card to it now as well as in, in the link in the description down below but with that being out of the way in terms of the playlist i highly do recommend to go ahead and follow my social medias so you never forget the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel also by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button that's another way you can know when i drop content whether it be for the playstation 3 on hen stuff on um, ps4 ps vita on um, 3ds psp and whatever i usually drop in terms of the hacking and modding scene with that being out the way as well i highly do recommend to go ahead and join my official discord aka my community i will have that in a link in the description down below on how to join as showcased on the screen not only can meet new people from the hacking and modding community you can also get the latest hacking guides and also support for your favorite consoles so if you have a question or any concerns on how to set this up or whether you're going to be like for the vita in terms of all the hankaku stuff or anything in terms of like the playstation 4 hen scene or anything like that you can feel free to ask in my support channels and usually i have helpers as along with me to help you guys to answer your questions about the homebrew modding scene with that being all out the way as well if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form of course this is purely optional um you can support my channel via by patreon i will have the link in the description right down below and as well as popped up on the screen with the card by supporting me via on patreon it helps with the overall um development of my channel and it helps me create better content for you guys to watch but of course it's purely optional as well i if you do want to support my channel you can feel free to donate via my paypal that's a secondary method um it's of course purely optional but as stated before it helps with things just with the overall development it helps with you know purchasing of equipment because sometimes when i make these videos i do have to go out and spend my own money to purchase some equipment just like you know a better you know camera even a console certain tools so i could you know basically record so you could see the you know broadcast from my tutorials but with all of that getting out the way in terms of donations as of course is purely optional we're going to go ahead and get started with today's prerequisites and as all my video states um if you know me i will have everything in downloads in the link in the description down below um with useful links and websites as well so first things first you need any playstation 3 system so it doesn't matter if it's a fat slim or super slim that is on basically 4.85 or lower so as i'm recording this on october 24th 2019 4.85 is the lowest firmware so if your firmware is higher i'm doubting that the playstation 3 will get any updates soon but you know how sony likes to do mystery updates um basically they can patch hen so make sure to be always on the lowest firmware for this process so if you're on 4.85 you're good to go um your system needs to already have the latest version of Han and Hen installed for this process. So I will basically have a card right now that will showcase um, Hen 4.85 on how to install that. That is episode 8 on this channel. So if you want to go ahead and learn how to install Hen um, via that way so you could you know be all caught up to date for this process, that's why I will have a card here. And that's why I did recommend checking out my older guide so you'll be on the same page as me. But assuming that you're already on Hen and it's already for the latest firmware, which is 4.85, 
1.85 you need any compatible playstation portable game that is in iso format so one thing i do want to note right off the back not all psp games work and i'll show you guys on how to figure out which games work for your choice um for this process because there is a developer wiki list that you could check out and i'll showcase that on the screen later on um as well you need you a usb stick that is formatted to fat32 so you just could use any usb stick that you normally use to install package files with for this process and optionally you can use filezilla ftv client to transfer files i am going to be using filezilla ftv client um for today but you could also use your uh usb to copy and paste the stuff over with um multi-man um one thing we also need as well for prerequisites we are gonna need multi-man 4.85 hand edition um i will have the link in the description for that as well and uh, last but not least we're going to need the psp launcher fixed.pkg and this fixed pkg is going to allow us to boot psp games on our playstation 3. one thing i want to state out the way here is the psp emulator compatibility list as showcased here you're going to see games that are going to be deemed unplayable so those are the type of games for the psp that will not work on your playstation 3 no matter even if it's from hen or cfw and basically they won't play if you, the label states that it's green or it's highlighted green, of course, that means your game is playable. If you see a yellow or orange, uh, you know, highlight over your game that you want to play, basically, it may have some minor, you know, graphical issues. Maybe the game won't save in certain places or there's just some minor bugs that makes the game call, uh, you know, deemed unplayable. Um, orange games are basically you know unplayable they probably have like low frame rate or it freezes right in mid game or you need certain patches for that but i do highly recommend to go ahead and check out this psp emulator compatibility excuse me compatibility list first since um you know it's good to know which games work before you like you know start downloading games or basically having all your roms transferred to the ps3 and you're wondering why some of those titles don't work so go ahead and check out that list but what i want to go ahead and give a special thanks out to is the playstation 3 exploit dev team for all of their help and all of their work they you know produce this content for but with all that getting out the way don't forget to join my discord if you need any help but we're going to go ahead and get started on the pc side of things Alrighty guys, so we're back on the PC as showcased here. Here's the website that I was talking earlier about the um in the intro, which is the PSP emulator compatibility list. The game I'm gonna be testing out today. As you see, um right now you can see some games are deemed unplayable, which is uh like Ape Academy 2 is deemed unplayable. However, Ape Escape Academy is deemed uh, as playable. But the game I'm gonna be testing out today, if I go spell God Eater 2. Right here, you can see that um, the game is you know fully playable and it has no problems with the remastered method. So that's the game we're gonna be testing out today. So I'm just gonna minimize uh, this out of my browser. But as showcased here, I have my game of choice and I also have the unofficial multi-man uh, version of Hen, which we need for today. As well, what we need for this video is something called the PSP launcher.rar. I will also have this in the link in the description down below. Um, All you need to do is just win zip it or basically extract it out with WinRAR. If you don't already have WinRAR installed, I will have that in the link in the description down below. But here is the PSP launcher that we need for this process. If I go into this folder, we're going to be needing the PSP launcher that says uh, fixed. So that's what I'm going to be uh, putting here. I'm just going to drag out these two PKGs from here. And then what we're going to do as of right now is fairly simple. We're going to plug in our USB that should be in our PC as of right now. So let me go to my uh, file explorer here. And as shown here, here is my USB. You can already tell that I've already transferred uh, some files over with my uh, USB and you can see that I already transferred the PSP launcher, but I'm gonna show you guys on how to do that. So let me delete mine first. First thing what we need to go ahead and verify is that if our USB of choice is already formatted to FAT32, the easiest way on how to see if your thing is on FAT32 um, is to basically right click go into properties and your file system should state that it's on fat32 if your thing doesn't state that it's on fat32 and it says it's on like xfat or ntfs we basically need to change it for this process so what we need to do now if you have any important documents on your uh this folder right here what we need to do 
it's fairly simple it's just basically back up your data if you're gonna um you know care about any items because anytime you format your usb drive what you're going to be doing now it will basically erase all your um stuff clean since i don't care what's on here what i'm going to do is just go ahead and right click over our usb drive make sure you right clicking over you know the right one if you have multiple in your pc we're going to go into format we're gonna to go to capacity, make sure it's the highest one. File system, if it's on NTFS or XFAT, we're gonna format it to FAT32. Allocation unit size, we're gonna to go to default allocation size. Volume label, you can label it anything. I just label mine Sony, so I know it's for my PlayStation 3. And as well, um, where it says quick format, make sure that this is toggled on and has a check mark. So if it's not check mark, go ahead and check it. Go ahead and hit start, hit okay. And basically what it's doing is going to reformat your hard drive to FAT32. You will get a little notification on the screen that will pop up soon. So I'm just waiting for that. Just go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to minimize this out. I'm going to open back up my uh, file explorer. Go to my USB drive here. And as you see, there's nothing on here since um, it basically reformatted your drive. Thus, that's why I said to go ahead and back up your stuff either onto another USB drive or onto your desktop for the meantime. But what we're going to do now is fairly simple. We're going to take our multi-man package, also these uh, two PKGs, and just drag it to the root of our USB. So the files are not large, so they won't take too long. And then what we're going to do now, guys, is go to our PlayStation 3 um, and get it boot up and we're going to run hen and then we're going to install all these package files and then we're going to get our game of choice transferred with filezilla so let's go ahead and get that started on the ps3 side of things Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, I'm back onto my PlayStation 3. What you need to do is go ahead and take your USB out of your PC, make sure to safely eject it, and then just plug it into the rightmost USB port to your PS3. So make sure it's the one that is closest to your disk drive. But once you do that, what we need to do is go to our user or whatever user on our PlayStation 3. We need to go ahead and scroll down to enable HEN. So I'm assuming that you already have enabled HEN somewhat installed. I'm using the 4.85 HFW version, so I'm just waiting for my system to do its thing. You should get a notification stating that um, HEN is enabled, and if you have Webman or anything else installed, it will state the notification on the screen. So let me go ahead and close out the browser. What we need to do now is go into Package Manager, go into Install Package Files, Standard, and then what we need to do is go ahead and install the PSP Remaster Launcher Fixed. So that's what I'm going to do here. You don't have to install the first PKG file that says uh, PSP Remastered. Let me go back into standard again and we're going to install Multiman 4.84. So I already had it installed on my uh, PS3. So I just had to reinstall it again. And then we're already good to go. What we need to do now is just verify that your Wi-Fi is on on your PlayStation 3 because we're going to be transferring files via with FTP. If you want to go ahead and transfer your game over USB, you can as well. But what we need to do now is go ahead and scroll into Multiman and get it boot up. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, we basically in Multiman again. If it's your first time I'm loading it up or you reinstalled it, all we have to do is just go ahead and hit yes to the terms of service of agreement. So once that does that, Multiman us um, CM data is now just installed into our hard drive. So just wait, it won't take too long, maybe like five to 10 seconds. But once that is fully done, you should see the Multiman logo and then it's basically gonna boot into um, you know its UI. So here's the Multiman logo, just waiting. All right, so Multiman is now in. As showcased here, you can see my IP at the bottom, which I'm just using a Ethernet internal connection. But if I scroll all the way to my uh, retro games here, you can see that I already have two PSP titles, which is Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII and also Need for Speed Carbon Owned the City. What we need to do now is just leave our PlayStation um, 3 on standby. Um, you could also go in your file manager, and I'll show you guys right here, if I go into PS3 root, where our games are going to be located at. So if I go into um, PS3 root, dev underscore HCD0, scroll all the way down to where it says PSP ISO, you can see that my Need for Speed Carbon and uh, you know, Crisis Core game is in the correct directory right here. But let me go ahead and hit 
R1 to just toggle out from here. And what we're going to do now is go back to our PS3, use FileZilla FTP client or any FTP client of your choice to transfer over our game of choice. So mine is going to be God Eater. But yeah, let's go ahead and get that started. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, we're back onto the PC. Here's my uh, PSP game that we still need to transfer over, which is God Eater 2. I already did verify that it is compatible with the uh, PSP compatibility list for the PlayStation 3. What we need to do now is just open up files to the FTP client. If you don't already have it installed, um, I will have the link to the EXE. You just install it like any normal EXE on your PC. But what we need to do is go ahead and type in our host um, IP. If you look back on Multiman where it says PS3 IP in the left hand corner, Corner. all we got to do is just type in our IP address so here's mine's right here I'm gonna go ahead and hit quick connect and as of right now there is a connection has been established now it's just you know retrieving my data from my PlayStation 3 so as showcased here you can see all of my um you know partitions on my PS3's hard drive what we need to do is go to dev underscore ACD zero go into PSP ISO where I showed you guys where my other PSP games were at and then what we need to do now is go into God Eater 2. And then from here, what it's doing now is, excuse me, just basically transferring over my game. So it may take a little while for this to do its thing. So I'm going to cut the video right here. Once it's fully transferred, what I'm going to do is um, showcase that it's transferred and then go back to the PS3. Alrighty guys, so I showcased here. If I go to my successful transfers, you can see that God Eater has now been transferred and here it's God Eater here. What we're going to do now is just go back to the PlayStation 3 and I'm going to um, refresh my database within um, Multiman and you're going to be seeing God Eater popped up within Multiman. So let's go ahead and get that started. Alright, so we're back in Multiman right now. What we need to do is just go and refresh our database. So I'm going to go to my games column here, refresh. If I go into retro, you can see that God Eater 2 is now on my um, PlayStation 3. What we need to do is just hit X over it. And then once you hit X over your PSP title of your choice, what we need to do, if you see in your PSP remaster launcher, you can see that the game logo of God Eater 2 is here. So all we got to do is just launch the PSP launcher by hitting X. All right guys, so as showcased here, once you're in the PlayStation Portable Remaster Launcher, what we need to do is just go ahead and select over the yellow icon. So where it says PSP Portable uh, you know, Remaster, do not do ad hoc party. So just go ahead and click the yellow one. If you did everything correctly and your game is compatible, um, my game has got either two. You can see that it's booting up fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn down the TV so the audio is not coming from, you know, <laughs> in the microphone but yep as showcased here here is God Eater 2 running now on my PlayStation 3 you can see that this is not you know any trickery of any sort shape or form I'm not using emulation like PSP SSP on the uh, PC this is running off a PlayStation 3 so here's the game running now and yeah, that's essentially on how to run certain PlayStation Portable titles on your modded PlayStation 3, whether if it's on custom firmware or on hen. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like. Please be sure to, you know, comment if you have any questions. But with that being said, my name is Nagato, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Love you all.